So the PSVR 2 has had a very disappointing launch. <laughs> Now apparently Sony were expecting to sell about 2 million units in this first month, which I think is a bit optimistic, honestly. Um, but it's only actually sold 270,000. Now, that isn't particularly great. I have a, a bunch of thoughts as to why that probably is. Now, I think this might be um, a big issue when it comes to virtual reality going forward, especially for the PlayStation VR 2. So firstly, why has this happened? Why is it out not performing very well? Well, to give you an example, in 2021, uh, the Quest 2 sold probably about 10 million units. So um, it's still going to be less than a million units per month, um, and it's a cheaper device. So I think 2 million in the launch probably is a bit high as an expectation. Obviously, you are going to get a spike in the first month because there's a bit of excitement going into it and people get it. And then obviously it, it slows down after that launch period. But there are definitely a few reasons why this isn't performing as well as it could have. Firstly, it was released in March, which is a very odd time to release it. You've got to think cost of living crisis and people struggling to uh, pay for energy bills. I mean, energy is at the highest it's been for ages, especially here in the UK. Second reason is that at the moment, they're limiting it just to the Sony store. I don't know when they're planning on bringing it out at third party retailers. Obviously, they're trying to maximize the amount of profit that they can get and doing it through the Sony store is going to do that. But you're not going to sell units as quickly. Yeah, if you're definitely looking to buy uh, PSVR 2, you're going to be going and finding it on the store. But if you look on Amazon and it says unavailable, you're just going to assume there aren't any in stock. You might not go look for the Sony store. Another reason is it's got a pretty high price tag when you compare it to some other things on the market. And the PS5 itself is actually a cheaper device than the PSVR 2. So expecting someone who's buying a PlayStation 5 to get an accessory for the PlayStation 5 that costs more than the PlayStation 5... Um, I mean, it's a bit of an ask, really. Not to say that's not actually worth that money. It's a fantastic device, and compared to some other things on the market, I think it's definitely worth the money. But ultimately, not everyone has the money, uh, and it's not necessarily going to be something where people can just be like, yeah, why not? I'm just going to throw $550 550 pounds on a VR headset for my PlayStation 5. Now the PlayStation 5 is more popular. Not everyone has one still. I mean, they're, they're still selling them. It was only sort of this month, January, so that the PlayStation 5 has actually been ramping up in sales, especially here in the UK. I think it's something like sales are 300% up. I think part of that is down to stock being available. But also you've got new games out, things like Hogwarts Legacy and stuff like that. It's probably bringing a bit of attention. I mean, I'm interested to find out what you think. Um, do you have ideas of why the PSVR 2 isn't selling as much as Sony were hoping for? Is it high expectations from Sony or is it something else? Comment down below because I'd love to find out what you guys think but these are just sort of my thoughts. Now what does this actually mean for the industry as a whole especially for the PlayStation VR 2? Well I mean a big thing is going to be for developers. Now if millions of people had bought the PSVR 2 developers would be desperate to make games for this thing because there'd be such a big audience wanting games for their PlayStation VR 2. Now having a limited audience you're limiting the amount of people that are actually going to want to develop for this. Why invest money in developing a virtual reality game instead of just a 2D game? Why not spend the money developing games for um, the Quest 2? Ultimately, it's something that might be concerning going forward. I don't think it's the end of the world, though. Ultimately, I don't think we can judge the PSVR 2 sales until sort of after the holidays. I know that's going to be the end of this year. Um, which is going to be sort of the main time people are going to be buying this. I also think people might not necessarily be aware of just how good this headset is, and it's going to take a bit of time for it to sort of spread around. At, at the moment, most of the people that are buying this VR headset are people that have already played virtual reality, that have a virtual reality headset at the moment and might not want to upgrade. So we've got to factor that in. Ultimately, we have two potential problems. Now, it will be interesting to see if sales um, maintain at the rate they're going, whether it's just a flatter curve instead of a spike at the start. But if you have a PlayStation VR 2, are you going to be concerned about the lack of units that have been sold? I think what will be interesting to find out is what the game figures are. How many units of a game are developers selling on the PlayStation? Are they selling as many copies as they would be on PC VR? And is it a competitive marketplace? Is it more competitive than PC VR? Because VR ultimately is still a very niche thing. So I wouldn't say panic now if you're considering buying the PlayStation VR 2. Um, at the moment, I personally, I think it's worth it. It just depends on, obviously, if games keep getting developed for it. Um, and if they don't, I guess you can always sell it going forward and then other people can pick it up on the cheap, maybe. Ultimately, I am convinced that I think this is going to be good going forward, but it does raise cause for concern. Now, VR has been gaining popularity quite consistently over the last few years, especially with the help 
from the Quest 2. I feel like that's brought so many people into this space, including myself. But is the PlayStation VR 2 just too ambitious a product for the masses? Do we need to start something slightly simpler? It's very difficult. It's hard to know what the right answer is. But I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Again, stick them in the comments and let's start a conversation. And guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Woo!